Hi, welcome to my channel and this is episode 142 of our great tour of the famous series. In this episode, we return to Manila Memorial Park in search of notable individuals interred in this southern part of Metro Manila. Come, join us to remember, celebrate the life, and visit the final resting place of two departed presidents and a former senator. Located at the southern side of the park at Plaza of Dignity Block 19, we found the Aquino Mausoleum, which is the final resting place of former Senator Ninoy and former Presidents Cory and Noinoy. Benigno Simeon Lampa Aquino Jr. was born in November 1932 in Concepcion, Tarlac. Ninoy came from the clan of prosperous political hacienderos. His grandfather, Sir Villano, was a revolutionary general of Emilio Aguinaldo. His father, Benigno Simeon Sr., was a pre-war secretary of agriculture and commerce under President Quezon and was a speaker of the Japanese-sponsored National Assembly during its occupation. Nino attended and studied Bachelor of Arts at Ateneo de Manila University but interrupted when he joined and covered the Korean conflict as a war correspondent for Manila Times in early 1950s. Nino also attended UP and studied journalism and law. Nino's public service started in 1949 when he was appointed as presidential advisor on defense affairs for then Defense Secretary Ramon Magsaysay under President Quirino's administration. His other government service posts include as Mayor of Concepcion Tarlac from 1955 to 1959, Vice Governor of Tarlac from 1959 to 1961, and Governor of Tarlac from 1961 to 1967. He was elected a senator from 1967 but his term was cut short due to proclamation of martial law in September 1972. Ninoy was one of the first to be arrested and imprisoned as member of the opposition. In 1978, during imprisonment, Ninoy was allowed and ran for the Philippine parliamentary election representing seat for Region 4 but lost. In March 1980, Ninoy suffered heart attack and was initially confined at the Philippine Heart Center. His request for heart surgery in the U.S. was granted and the Aquino family moved and settled in Boston until 1983. Uh, if uh, under other circumstances, I would be very happy. But, uh, I don't know. Uh, when I suffered this uh, this uh, angina, I have uh, lost weight. I mean, I've lost uh, endurance. You fainted? No, I uh, have severe chest pains. <laughs> I think the uh, president allowed him to go for medical reasons and for humanitarian reasons. In health center, yes, he needs positively a bypass operation for weeks, God willing, of course. Has he made a commitment that he'll come back? Uh... Yes, he made a solemn commitment to come back. I feel that the president uh, allowed him to go purely on compassionate, uh, for compassionate reasons. In August 1983, upon his return to Manila from exile, Ninoy was assassinated at the tarmac of then Manila International Airport and died resulting from gunshot wound in the head. He was 50.
I think the, the very fuck alone that we can land is victory enough. Everything after that's bonus. I mean, whether they put me back in a plane and ship me out or bring me to prison, I have promised to return. I have returned against all odds. If it's my fate to die by an assassin's bullet, so be it. But I cannot be petrified by inaction or fear of assassination and therefore stay in a corner. I, I have to suffer with my people. I have to, to lead them uh, because of the responsibility given to me by our people. Yes, you just take it. Cory was born Maria Corazon Sumunong Cojuanco in January 1933 in Paniki, Tarlac. Cory was the 11th president of the Philippines that served from 1986 to 1992. Cory attended and graduated high school in 1949 from Notre Dame Convent School in New York City. In 1953, she finished her college education at the College of Mount St. Vincent, also in New York with major in French studies. In 1953, Corey returned to the Philippines and studied law at Far Eastern University, which she did not finish. In 1954, Corey and Ninoy got married and the couple had five children. After the assassination of Ninoy in August 1983, Corey became the leading opposition figure against Marcos' administration. In November 1985, Marcos announced a snap election to be held in February 1986. Corey ran as opposition bet for the snap election. In mid-February 1986, the Batasang Pambansa, which is dominated by Marcos' allies, declared Marcos as the winner. On the other hand, Nafrel Count showed Aquino had won. These events in early February 1986 lead to People Power Revolution with Marcos fled to Hawaii on the 25th of February. Corey sworn in as the 11th President of the Philippines and served as the Commander-in-Chief until June 1992. Town. First, what do you make of these demonstrations? Well, I think definitely they are orchestrated and uh, I hear uh, that they are uh, being paid. Of course, um, I don't exactly know just what the amounts are, but I would think it would be really worth their while because uh, it, you talk in terms of uh, sometimes a whole day, you know, with people demonstrating out there. What I have uh, told the uh, police is that we will observe tolerance, and uh, so, but definitely I would like them to go after persons who are indeed uh, either carrying guns or stones because we have to protect the interests of the uh, citizenry against people who would inflict harm on them. In March 2008, Corey was diagnosed of colon cancer and had been given three months to live. She died 16 months later in August 2009 at the age of 76. Benigno Simeon Cojuanco Aquino III was born in February 1960 at FEU Hospital in Sampaloc, Manila. Noynoy was the 15th President of the Philippines that served from 2010 to 2016. Noynoy attended elementary, high school, and college education at Ateneo de Manila University. He studied and completed Bachelor of Arts in Economics in 1981. 
Noynoy Public Service started in 1998 when he was elected as member of House of Representatives for Tarlac 2nd District, which he served until 2007. In 2007, he ran under LP and was elected for a Senate seat, which he landed the sixth place and served until 2010. In September 2009, shortly after the death of her mother, Noynoy officially announced his candidacy for 2010 presidential election. In June 2010, Noynoy was elected and sworn in as the 15th President of the Philippines and served as the Commander-in-Chief until June 2016. Dito ngayon ay patunay na kayo ang aking tunay na lakas. Hindi ko inakala na darating tayo sa puntong ito na ako'y manunumpa sa harap ninyo bilang inyong Pangulo. Walang wangwang, walang counterflow, walang tong. Kayo ang boss ko. Kaya't hindi maaaring hindi ako makinig sa mga utos ninyo. Sa pagtatapos ng labang ito, tayo na sa tuwid na landas. Maraming salamat po at mabuhay ang sambayanang Pilipino. On the early hours of June 24, 2021, Noynay was found by his house help lying unconscious at his residence at Times Street in Quezon City. He was rushed to nearby Capital Medical Center and pronounced dead past 6 in the morning because of renal disease secondary to diabetes. He was 61. In the next episodes, we will post the video of our recent visit of Manila North Cemetery and living in Amang Bayan in Tagui. Later in this channel, we will also post more grave tour videos including Loyola Memorial Park in Marikina and in Paranaque. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe if you like my channel. See you in our next grave tour of the famous episodes.